Can can you remember much of uh, of of your um, progression in the spirit world? Not really. I haven't really had many memories. I I'm going through a lot of the heavy sort of stuff at the moment. Sort of a lot of the niceties at the moment. So yeah. So no, only that only the moments really in the hells more so. I've been trying to work out all my dreams. Like haven't worked them out exactly. All my dreams are in darkness, like twilighting. And those for years. I still don't really understand those either. It's a little bit like that. The spirit world is really quite, quite, quite dark. Really dark and um, just desolate alone. Because that's what feelings I had inside myself about the whole everything. That's all. <laughs> Corny's had a lot of spirits. Uh, he, he's uh, been near people who are mediumistic uh, quite a lot of his life, but particularly recently. And so he's had a lot of experiences of first century people who have been harmed by his life, who are still in the hells, coming to him to talk to him about that, or more, more often than not to project anger at him about that. Um, so he's having to work through many of, his, many of his experiences he's working through by this interaction of what's going on between himself in this state now and people who were in the first century who he harmed. So it's quite confronting. Um, um, I feel really confused because um, you know he's, he's gone to twenty different levels. Why he still has stuff? I've I've, I've answered all of those questions in a in a uh, in a writing that I've written and it's on the CD. It's called Reincarnation and Divine Love. Um, all of those questions are answered in there. Uh, my suggestion is to have a read of that document. Um, it'll explain what happens when you reincarnate. And what, basically what happens, and I've said this quite a number of times, but most people don't seem to get it, but what happens is that um, when you reincarnate, all of your memories, which don't have emotional attachments to them anymore, so in the 20 seconds for your state, you remember every event of your life, but there's no emotion with it. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So you remember all the bad things you've done still, but there's no emotional connection with those things. When you reincarnate, all of those memories get filtered now through the parent's emotional condition. Right? So you get basically reinfected with emotion from your parent's condition with those memories. And, and with all of the 14, there's seven types of memories that we have to deal with. There's the memories that we had in the first century. There's the memories that we had in the spirit world. There's the memories that we get from the reincarnation process and in this life. Then there's also, uh, when you're in the 20 seconds for your state, you can swap memories with your soulmate. So some of the 14 have taken their soulmate's memories as well. So you've got your soulmate's experience in the first century, the soulmate experience in the spirit well, and the soulmate experience in the reincarnation state. Um, and you've got all of these emotions to work through. So we've got six or seven times the amounts of emotions that you would have to work through. Then if you multiply that by 2,000 years of life, that will give you an idea of how much emotion the, uh, all of the 14 have to deal with. So it's quite a lot. <laughs> and, uh, and so that's why it takes a lot of really strong dedication on the part of someone who's one of the 14 to actually work through their emotions. And it also takes a long time to work through those emotions, obviously. Um, so it's really important to understand. Well, it's not really important for you. It's really important that the 14 understand that when they're working through their emotional condition. Yeah. With, with the parental emotions that we pick up when we come through, how, how far back do they go? Is that sort of back into eons of time? Generational, yeah. Generational, yeah. So it goes back. So great grandparents, parents, your, you know, and so forth, all the way all the way through, all have an emotional impact on you of all of their unresolved emotion. And it's unimportant where it came from, it's just... It's there. unimportant where it came from, it's just important to let it go so you don't infect the next generation. <laughs> yeah. The buck stops here. Yeah. <laughs>